It's one of the richest counties in the country, but despite the reputation of affluence, some people in Williamson County are barely getting by and they, the need for affordable housing there is very real, which is why four housing nonprofits are teaming up with the city of Franklin to tackle the problem. And News Channel 5's Araceli Crescencio shares details of this project that should help more families afford to call Franklin home. It's a project that's been waiting to get the green light for a long time. It's taken a couple years because we had to work through some things in terms of the availability of the site and also had to change some local laws to allow us to transfer ownership of the property for what the board identified as a public purpose, a public benefit. In May, the city of Franklin's board of mayor and aldermen approved the Hill property. Pretty soon, this unoccupied land will be home to more than 30 affordable and workforce units, a relief for families who want to work and live in Franklin but can't afford to pay constantly increasing rents. With the average price of a home in Williamson County averaging more than $800,000, the city says this affordable community will help create opportunities for people. Affordable housing is an important topic and we want to try to provide diverse housing options for our citizens, both now and in the future. The townhomes will look like this, and the goal is to have 16 affordable housing units and 23 workforce units. The price would depend on medium household income, but they'd sell from $275 to $375,000. The city says the application process is still being finalized, but they want to make sure people with financial need, living and working in the city are prioritized. We value having a diverse uh, set of options for housing so that people can live in Franklin at any stage of life and uh, having those housing opportunities and, and a variety of housing opportunities at different price points is part of that. As for when construction will begin, there is still a long road ahead as the project goes through the development approval phase. We hope that starts early part of next year and that will take several months to go through and then they've got to be ready to bid out the work and get started. So we don't have an exact time frame, uh, but we hope within the next couple years they'll be up and operating and be new homes for, for our citizens. In Franklin, Araceli Crescencio, News Channel 5.